What's going on gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. This format is a little different. I've been seeing this format around with a lot of other creators and not gonna lie, I kinda like it, so I figured, you know, I'd go ahead and try it too. Um, shout out to my inspirations. Uh, shout out Rehab Room and uh, shout out Jacked and Stacked and uh, shout out Thinking Ape as well. Now, first of all, I'm not a black pillar. Let's just get that out of the way right now. But I find this very, very interesting because obviously we all know what the dating landscape looks like right now. And obviously we all know that guys are looking for answers. But here's the number one thing I keep seeing over and over again. Looks maxing, looks maxing, looks maxing, looks maxing. And in this video, I wanna go over looks maxing and more specifically, I wanna be specific about two things. The first one is, unfortunately, your looks maxing is solely dependent on your genetic structure, right? So like bones, facial, uh, facial features, things of that nature, right? And the second thing is, regardless of how you look, how you look is only one part of a long-term relationship equation. Like you have to remember, there's other things that go into it. Now, if you're looking to just get laid, obviously a lot of guys are not getting laid as well, but if you're looking to just get laid, bro, you can get laid easily. Honestly speaking, I don't even think it matters what you look like for real. Like some of you guys are so in your heads about, you know, you think looks are the number one thing. And again, granted, women definitely do treat better looking men better, obviously. Um, I'm going to be the first one to admit that my quote unquote looks maxing definitely helped me out. But really what helped me was just losing weight and <laughs> being more social. I know some guys are going to be like, oh, that's cope. Just be social, bro. It doesn't really help. It doesn't work for everybody. I know. And that's because some of you are just not socially adept. Blame your parents for that one. <laughs> Blame your parents for not helping you become more socially uh, astute in this world. But anyway, let's talk about this looks maxing stuff. So you've seen the thumbnail, you already seen what the guy looks like in his before and after. And I have to say the doctor, Dr. Daniel, I don't know how to say the rest of his last name, so I'm not going to disrespect it like that. But Dr. Daniel literally did a fucking miracle <laughs> for this guy. Like literally it was a miracle. Now here's the reality of it. If you are overweight and you have good genetic structure, then looks maxing is going to work for you. The unfortunate reality, like I said before, is that if you have bad genetics, my, my old personal trainer friend used to call it shit genetics. <laughs> if you have shit genetics, regardless of what you do, it's just not going to work out. Now, listen, the reality to this entire equation or just this problem in itself is that guys are so hooked on the, I guess, the model-esque look, you know, you have your jawline, things of that nature, but that's subjective, right? That's entirely subjective. Women, as much as women like obviously good looking men, women's taste or just their innate attraction is solely dependent on multiple factors, multiple factors where they were brought up, how they were raised, the media that they were watch that they were watching, the things that they were um, surrounded by, the people they were surrounded by, et cetera, et cetera. So you have to keep in mind that not every woman is going to see like Jeremy Meeks or Chico as the most attractive to them, right? I'm just saying this as an example. You let me know what you think in the comments below. So with all that being said, let's talk about some possible looks maxing strategies that could actually help you, provided you have good genetics, right? The first one's gonna be weight loss. Listen, if you're overweight, first of all, just for the sake of health reasons, why would you want to continue being out of shape anyway? Like I remember when I was fat, I used to walk down the block and I would have to pull on my shirt because the wind would blow and it was so embarrassing, right? And obviously without having that kind of like confidence of being comfortable in your body, it's hard to, to telepath that to someone else, right? Like it's hard for, it's hard for you to come off as confident if you're standing or looking all slouched, you know, you look sloppy, 
you're not well kept, things of that nature. So lose weight. If you're an overweight guy and you're not getting any play, but women interact with you, they might see you as cute. Like, yeah, you're probably getting friend zoned, but for a lot of these guys, they're not even they're not even getting anything zoned. <laughs> a lot of guys are just straight up ghosts. I think partially due to how they perceive themselves in this world, but obviously, you know, women are also going to be a factor in that and they're gonna judge whether the interaction is worth it for them. So weight loss is going to help you. Again, keep your genetics in mind. The next thing I would say is there are some tools you could use for your face, right? And keep in mind, we're talking about soft looks maxing. We're not talking about hard looks maxing like Dr. Daniel did. We'll talk about that later on. But there are jaw exercises you can do to increase your jaw. A lot of you have recessed chins because simply you grew up eating soft food. And that's why your jaw development has suffered. And <laughs> that's why you look like you have no jaw. But beyond all that, you can use jaw exercisers. That was something that I used to do when I had like a, a round face when I was losing weight. Um, but one of the things I was trying to accentuate was my jaw, right? So I went on Amazon, spent like fucking 20 bucks on some jaw exercisers. And I, I treated it like a workout routine. And eventually, you know, I had a, a ch quote unquote chiseled jaw, right? Now my jaw is strong as fuck. <laughs> um, but you know, that, that helped develop the jaw. Again, keep in mind your genetics. So if you have the propensity to do a soft looks max to increase your chances of getting women, then do it. You know, there's a lot of guys out here, like certain black pillars that are like a couple of habitual changes away from actually being able to get dates right so keep that in mind it, it's not like you have to do uh, okay let me redact that if you are absolutely hideous like you've lost the weight and all that and you still are struggling then yeah maybe getting uh, some surgery might help right keep in mind though if you end up in a relationship and have children odds are your children are gonna look how you used to look and who knows what your girl will uh, will think at that time. But that's a whole nother conversation for another day. Attraction is important. One of the most important things, right? But how you, how you treat a woman is also just as important. Like there are some guys in this space that think like, oh, because I'm good looking or because some guys are good looking, they can literally like spit on women or, you know, do whatever they want to women and still get away with it. Granted, there are some women that are attracted to abusers and murderers and things like that, but those women are broken. Like you're, you're looking at broken women on social media, talk about the kind of guys they're attracted to. And you're taking that for face value and assuming that every single woman is also thinking the same thing. I'd like to think both men and women do not exist in a characteristic monolith, right? In other words, how you see one woman is not how the rest of them act, and how you see one man is not how the rest of them act. Obviously, there could be a debate there for certain things, but for the most part, life is not men and women are not a monolith so i do believe that attraction is important but you got to remember a part of this too is just the fact that we live in a society that is so focused on looks a lot of people think that is the the end all be all right like oh i just look good and that's it guys let me tell you something there are thousands if not millions of good looking weirdos out there I'm serious like and just because they look good doesn't necessarily mean that you know people want to socialize with them frequently or you know they have robust relationships or whatever you think good looking or extremely attractive people have at their disposal that's not always the case right and I think in this space because a lot of guys just generally don't get women they obsess with looks and obsess with how you appear to the other sex which again, say what you want about it. I personally do believe though, it's not so much about looks towards the latter half 
of any potential relationship you're trying to build. It's more so personality. Now, I'm not saying this as some guy who's like dated some gargoyles. I have to be completely honest, a predominant portion of my relationship experience has been with Caucasian slash European women, some Latinas and Asians as well. And a lot of those were flings, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Just because an ethnic man may be attractive or whatever the case may be, or you might see him with, you know, a, a swath of different other women, that doesn't necessarily mean that that relationship is going to last. Like, if there's anything I've learned in my life, it's that being an attractive ethnic man will lend you opportunities to be either fetishized or quote unquote used as a uh, sexual experience. But if we're thinking about this logically, a lot of guys don't even want to be in a relationship. Like I know for myself at that time, I didn't want to be in a relationship anyway. So that was okay. You know, these days now I, I am in a relationship and it is with someone who is not of my ethnicity. I'm French and Haitian. And, you know, she's from where she's from. I'm not going to go into it. Um, but she is of the quote unquote milk tribe. <laughs> and before y'all go off on me, yes, I met her parents. This isn't one of those weird fetishized relationships. And honestly speaking, bro, even if it did end up being one of those things, that's okay. There's thousands of women out there, bro. You know, I'm not going to run into the, the whole abundance mindset diatribe, but you got to remember at some point, people, regardless of what they look like, they're always going to be considered ugly to somebody. You know, I model. I do commercial modeling. I do fashion modeling. Some of y'all might have seen me on a product. But somewhere out there, I'm sure women are going to think I'm not that good looking. And that's okay. You got to get in where you fit in in life, guys. And if you're so focused on trying to attract the baddies, trying to attract the IG baddies because you think this is going to make your life better or you think you're going to get props or you think people are going to start to respect you, they're not, bro. <laughs> they're not. Life people in general are fake as fuck. It's really hard to find those that are genuinely authentic. But I can tell you right now, if your dating life is hampered by the fact that you know, you want better looking women or whatever the case may be, that's not going to change your life, bro. It's not going to change your life. And honestly speaking, no matter how much looks maxing you do, it's not going to change your perception of yourself if you don't put in the work to manually change that self-perception. I'll give you a good example of this. When I was overweight, I was 260 pounds at one point in my life. And I was in a relationship. I was in a relationship with a Uzbekistanian chick. She was like 6'1", blonde hair, blue eyes, fit. She looked, she was beautiful. I'm not going to, you know, put up photos or whatever the case may be because we're not together. Not going to, you know, fuck around with someone's privacy like that. But let me be the first one to tell you she was beautiful as fuck. And as much as I thought guys would respect me for it. it it actually just brought a lot more haters you know and on top of that when i was fat and i was dating her it wasn't my looks that necessarily attracted her now can someone make the argument like rehab room saying like oh bro you were a oofy doofy for her honestly bro i wasn't i drove a g35 i was a personal trainer i wasn't making that much money you know we'd go 50 50 on so many other things you know, so I feel like, yes, looks matter, but your personality matters, too. And I think if you're not socially adept, like if you're not socially astute, you're not, you know, you don't have any charisma or anything like that. Then, yeah, it's going to be hard for you to date. Like you're going to come off as stale. And then if you're ugly on top of that, now you just look weird. You know, it, better for you to be the ugly guy with some charisma like or that quote unquote false sense of bravado than to be a good looking guy who is weird and, and can't speak again. Will some women, you know, accept that? Sure. But like, bro, some women out there are desperate, too, and they'll cling on to anything, you know, and I have to say the transition from being fat to fit definitely did help it broaden my horizon 
with more women. Like when I was on Hinge, before I got banned off Hinge, because <laughs> yo, I got into an argument with this chick. It was hilarious, bro. This chick wanted me to come over to the Bronx, and it was like fucking one o'clock in the morning. And you know, I, I'm in New York, but I'm nowhere near the Bronx. And I was like, listen, it's one o'clock in the morning. I really don't think, you know, it, it would be a good idea for me to go over there. And she wanted to chill. Like, she wanted me to come through. And she replied, she was like, yo, if you're broke, just say that. <laughs> Which is funny as shit. But I was like, listen, it's not worth me risking my life to go to the Bronx because you're not that good looking to begin with. And then I got banned from Hinge. But before all that happened, bro, I have to tell you, listen, if you're fit, you're in shape it will give you an advantage because most guys don't want to compete anyway. Like, bro, there's mad black pillars out there that have literally just given up. I literally just watched the video of this guy going on like a 20 minute rant talking about how ugly guys are getting women, but he's not getting anything. What do you think the common denominator is there? If you're seeing ugly guys with good looking women in public, regardless of the circumstances that you're not seeing in the background and you're not getting any, what does that say about you? It's more you than anything else. But anyway, when I lost weight and I got fit and I started modeling, bro, the chicks were throwing themselves at me. <laughs> like literally throwing themselves at me. Dates, I don't have to go on dates. You know, I didn't have to go on dates for the relationship I'm in right now. And that's not me bragging, you know, but I'm just saying. You know, women will obviously break the rules for a certain men. I'll give you one example as I close here. There was this one uh, German au pair that I met that was working in Jersey. Beautiful chick, man. Beautiful chick, bro. And she would come through to my apartment to come hang out, obviously, you know, to, to do the do. Dog, when I first moved into my apartment, like a year after my roommate moved out and then I was living by myself, I had no furniture. <laughs> I literally had no furniture. Like literally all I had was a four seated dining table in my living room. There was no TV, no fucking couches, nothing. I had no furniture and she still came through. Chicks still came through. They were totally okay with it. Didn't even judge me for it. They would literally hang out with me in my living room on the floor drinking wine on the floor dog <laughs> drinking wine on the floor the best part is i wouldn't even have to buy the alcohol they'd bring it themselves they would bring me food they would bring me shit so there is some power in looks right it's not the entire equation if you want a long-term relationship but looks maxing to an extent if you have the genetics for it will help you i'm gonna be honest i don't have answers for guys who are just completely zeroed out because i don't have that experience you know even when i was overweight i was still attracting women i mean when i was younger did like i have a chick say ill to me like yeah but guess what she's a single mom now <laughs> so it is what it is but you know just because you get rejected by a couple of chicks doesn't mean it's completely over. If you're the kind of guy who's like overweight, still has his hair, you know, things aren't completely over for you. Like you can, you can put it together. And personally, I think even if you didn't have hair, like if you were bald, you can still probably get away with it. But obviously again, this is genetics dependent. And to be completely transparent, you can't just sit there and automatically diagnose yourself with shit genetics. Like you have to at least try, you know what I mean? So if you're one of these dudes out here who hasn't tried at all, and you know, you're just inundated by black pill content, you've just been watching it this entire time since you were like a teenager, you're doing yourself a disservice because the reality of it is, bro, you just have to grow into what you look like. Like there are a lot of guys out here that make looks maxing stuff and, and talk about looks maxing like, oh, this is what I did to improve and stuff. Really, a lot of that was just puberty. Like when I grew into my face, bro, it was over. <laughs> I mean, it's still over now, you know, like talking to women, getting with women. It's, it's not hard. It's not hard at all. So you have to give yourself some sort of chance. Now, listen. 
there's thousands of ways to go about weight loss as a side note i'd also say hitting the gym and hitting the gym and trying to get the attraction from women is not about muscle it's not it really is face dependent that's why i was keeping the you know these things uh face oriented so in closing i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this if you have shit netics then yes it might be over for you but you won't know that you have shit netics until you've tried to at least enhance your looks you know and I, i'm talking about do it softly so lose weight work on your jaw do some neck exercises you know grow a beard if you don't have a jawline be willing to you know sculpt your eyebrows because that's also another part of it too right like your hair ultimately shapes your face I mean, again if you're bald then yeah it's a wrap but your hair ultimately shapes your face right and one thing you need to consider is even though you might be bald you can you, you can still work on your eyebrows you can grow a beard you can grow a stash whatever it takes for you to like frame your face bro do it but now for the guys who have tried and you know you still look bad like homeboy in his before you know like you still have that weird narrow face towards the bottom end your nose looks disproportionate to your face things of that nature if you got some money then yeah maybe you should go with a masculinization facial rejuvenation or whatever the procedure is called you know if you've tried all the soft uh looks maxing methods and nothing's working then yeah perhaps that could help you but i don't know man i, I just feel like if you go to the gym not put on muscle like you lose weight women care more about how lean you are than how big you are the only people who care about big muscles are other guys, which is weird in my opinion, but those are the only people that care about how big your muscles are. But go to the gym, lose weight, get lean, do some face exercises, contour your face, you know, the hair, eyebrows, everything else, and actually try to talk to people. And when I say talk to people, I don't mean, you know, pull up with some riz and like yo ma what you doing later nah bro like just have a normal conversation and don't expect it to lead anywhere like you need to put in conversational reps if that makes sense that's another story for another day um but guys let me know your thoughts on this i feel like i've been rambling at this point let me know what you think in the comments below also do me a favor like and share these videos like if you like the content uh, i'm trying to get better at content creation but if you like the content like the video consider subscribing like some of y'all are stingy as fuck man as far as like <laughs> likes and just engagement is concerned some of y'all are stingy as fuck like you'll watch the shit but you you know you won't give your opinion i don't care if you agree with me or not i just want to hear your opinion because i i want this to be conversational you know the last thing i would say here is a lot of black pillars tell you to lose hope don't lose hope I listen hope might be cope but I think it's a lot better than you just sitting at home wanting to off yourself because you know you feel as though your life doesn't match up to everyone else's bro that's loser talk that's straight up loser talk like if I felt that way when I was overweight and I actually went through with trying to terminate myself there's no way I'd be able to live the life that I have now like give yourself a chance bro at least go for it you know listen if you went for it and things still aren't working and it's back to the drawing board then that's another discussion that doesn't mean you have the liberty to go ahead and enter the nether realms but you know that's another discussion i think you are granted the right to feel a little uh, upset but all in all guys try like stop being stop being so fucking pathetic let's just keep it a buck stop being so pathetic bro you know we all go through shit life is hard but you you can make the best of it you know women are attracted to you y'all are just like the chicks y'all are just like fem cells basically like fem cells that are upset that the guy that they want doesn't want them or just uses them y'all are exactly the same i'm sure you can attract a chick i'm more than 100 percent positive like if you can put sentences together you're not a fucking creep and you look decent, like at least you look well kept, like clean. 
you can attract a woman, but you just might not like how she looks. And that's a whole nother conversation for another day. But can beggars really be choosers? Not to roast, but I'm just saying. Anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm going to keep making content like this in an effort to get better. Check out the uh, Fatara Fitness app. Click the link. Your ass is fat. You need to lose some weight. You're not getting laid. Come on, bro. When's the last time you've seen your, uh, your Twinkie? If you know what I'm saying. But anyway, this rant is over. I got some clients to train. Then I got a photo shoot. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.